What's good YouTube, it's Castle Scope. I'm back on another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make great hair selections, right? And hair selection can be a tricky thing on Photoshop at first, especially for a lot of like new beginners that are just new to Photoshop. But like I said, man, learning these basics and me putting out these basic videos for tutorials is gonna help you because I still implement all these basics along the way in every edit that I make. It's just learning the basics, you turn into a beast, right? You build up from the basics, you turn to a beast. Basics to beast. I might I might copyright that, all right? But the first thing that we're gonna do on this John Morant photo is, yeah, we hop right into it on this channel. I'm gonna grab the pen tool, the shortcut is P. So you gotta get your image, obviously, but I'm just guessing you already have an image out. I'll wait like two seconds. So get your pen tool, shortcuts P, or it's over here, it's the anchor. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make a mask all around John Morant. And actually this isn't gonna take too long, so I, won't, I don't think I'll fast forward, but I'm just gonna tell you guys how I go around the hair in, in particular because there's a, a good way to go about going around the hair even if you're using the pen tool or the lasso tool there's a good way to go around it so once you get to like where you see the hair come off of the body or wherever it's at you're not gonna go right on to like tracing on the hair like that that's how you make bad selections right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around the outside kind of in a circular motion but you're just gonna kind of follow the crown. You have to imagine if the hair wasn't there, just, just circling around the crown. But just go around the outside of the hair like this. And now I'm gonna fast forward because I just showed you guys. Just go around the, the hair kind of like this, just on the outside of it. Don't try to cut off any pieces of the hair. Just save those for later, all right? So I'll be back once I'm all the way around. All right, so now I'm all the way back around on my selection and you guys can use whatever selection tool that you want. Say if you want to use the magic wand tool or you want to use a quick selection tool, it's really up to you. Um, but I just like using the pen tool because it gives you really good, good selection. So the next thing I'm going to do is make my selection actually confirm it. So I confirm it by right clicking and I go, went to, or I'll do that again so you guys can see. Right click, go to make selection and you're going to go to don't even feather it you're not gonna really need to do that and then go to new selection so then we have our selection right and you can also preview it if you press Q on your keyboard that's on any anything just preview on your keyboard you see I'm seeing everything's pretty good um, I could refinance a couple things on here but this is for tutorial purposes so this will this will definitely do the job and then the next thing that you're gonna want to do is hit this little rectangle with the circle in the middle that's to really confirm your mask so just click that to add the layer mask okay don't worry we can press ctrl j make a copy layer and delete the underlying layer so that so that our background's still there right but i'll just lock it and the lock button is right up there so you can just lock that and then we're gonna go into our mask so we're gonna double click on the mask layer double click on that make sure you guys double click on the black part with the white outline black uh, takes away white fill so you know that the white fill is your your mask and once you're on this I usually have my opacity on color and um, the view that I usually go on is overlay sometimes onion skin but mostly I go on overlay so I get that nice red like difference so I can just really see everything that I'm doing and then from there you're gonna go into let's see you're gonna go right into your refine edge brush tool right and these are the these are the settings that I use I just set my radius at zero smooth zero feather zero contrast zero and shift edge zero like I really just set everything at zero at the beginning and then I adjust after so what your feather edge brush tool is gonna do it's gonna just feather everything but it's gonna try and include some of that data that you have on your hair so all you got to do is it's already in the plus minus would be holding alt or if you're on a mac it would be command i believe yes um, command but we're just going to go around the hair and take our time and make a nice little feathered selection of the hair so just take your time and just see what i'm doing right here i'm just making a nice selection and just really take your time if you mess up somewhere you can just uh hold down the command or alt and then you can re re uh, I don't know read re bump stuff out I guess I would say yeah but you're gonna go all the way around the hair and you're gonna make a nice selection then I'll be back okay so I went around the hair and now you can kind of already see how the pixels are just 
not just so rigid and, and rough on, on the edges of the hair. I have a nice selection pretty much everywhere. Um, the top got a little bit weird, but we can definitely try and finesse that after. So what I would do next is I just go right down to output settings. I don't really mess around with any of this stuff. If you see that feather works uh, pretty good, you can use it, but feather is going to also affect your skin. And you could do a separate layer from the skin, but that would be a topic for another video. But let's go down to output settings and let's go click on decontaminate colors. And usually for my decontaminate colors, I usually go somewhere around 74, 75 ish. And then I go back onto my layer again with my feather brush tool and I kind of just re make sure I have like everything looking pretty good, right? And then output to, I put to new layer with layer mask. And then sometimes you can hit remember settings. I don't really do that a lot, but then you can just hit okay after, right? And to bring that, I just, I just got rid of our background. So I just hit okay, right? All right. So now you're almost done. That's not a bad mask of hair. You could just leave it like that if you really want to, but I don't think that does the job for me. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hold down alt or command and I'm going to click back onto my layer mask right over here. And we're going to click onto that. Now it brings us to this black screen. That's your outline right there. And you can see all of these like extra little spaces that you might want to get rid of. So let's go to the brush tool shortcut B. And for this, I'm going to pick, um, usually pick overlay. It's going to work pretty well. And then we're going to go on to a black brush. Let's see. Why is my brush is acting up? Let's go on to a black brush and let's make that brush a little bit bigger, right? So let's go, we pick, pick your mode up here, mode, go to overlay. And then we're going to do this, do this. We're going to, let's see. Oh yes. Okay. So now we're on black. My fault. We're on black now. And with your black brush, you're going to get rid of some of this like excess stuff that, that's there. Right? So kind of just brush it on and I'm going to drop my flow down. You can drop your flow down pretty low so you can really see the changes that you're making as you're making these marks and see, I didn't like that big bulky area. So I'm definitely getting rid of some of that and to switch back and forth between this, just hold down all our command and switch back and forth like you can really see the differences that you're making throughout so I just go through you know you don't want to go so close to your mask that you like forget the essence of feathering but you do want to go pretty close um, and make it a nice selection your selections aren't always going to be perfect and there's plenty of things you can do afterwards you could just take like a soft brush and just really soft brush things out you could just uh, just delete other things like there's so many options, but see right there. I got rid of a good amount of the stuff that I needed to get rid of There's still some things left over Like the top the top had a lot of stuff that needs to get out and then Let's see. Let's just use a white background just to see what we are working with and there you go. That's a pretty good mask of, of hair. That's not, that's not, that's without doing a rigid little like selection of hair. You don't want to do that, right? So you can just do that and put in the white background is going to also help you out because now I can go on and just softly brush things out, right? So just drop my brush down, get things out of there. Just make it look real nice, you know? So there's not, there's not too many steps in that. It's just, let's break it down. So make your selection, go around the hair, not just like cutting along the hair. That's not gonna make it look nice. Then once you are done with your, your selection, select it, you're gonna go into your panel of, of layer mask and you're just gonna feather brush that out. Once you're done, you're gonna decontaminate the colors to about 75 and and then you're going to get to your new layer mask, right? And then you're going to go clicking alt like we just did. You're going to click alt so that you can see the screen. Go to your brush. Your mode is going to be on overlay. And then brush out what you don't want. And then you can switch back and forth pressing command or alt. And you're going to be able to see your selections, man. So I uh, hope this tutorial really helped you guys out. That's definitely the way that I would go about it if I'm just starting out or honestly, I still do that a lot of the time. Like what I did at the end when I, when I just like deleted separate portions of the hair 
that's just manual things that you're gonna pick up as you get more and more experience with hair you know it's you're just gonna pick up your own type of little things that you start doing little techniques that help you out so make sure you guys drop a like if this help this video helped you out and let me know what other tutorials you want to see from me going on in the future man so until next time it's been castle scope everybody stay scope peace